into this slam dunk walking stick. I had intended to make another rattlesnake cane out of this piece of wood. But as I carved what would be the handle of the cane, I noticed a defect running right through the middle of it. Now I'm not one to give up easily, and I sure don't want to waste the rest of this material. There's still some good grain direction in this piece. With the curvature of the grain at the top of the stick, I have the ability to carve something I've had on my order list for a long time. I'll first have to see if I can carve something round enough to look like a basketball. Next, I got to see if I can carve the hand that's palming the ball. This stick is going to have to be more of a caricature and less realistic looking. I'll need to leave the wrist area thicker for strength. Locating where to begin the head is the real tricky part. This stage is making me nervous, so I'm just going to take my time and try not to make any mistakes. I made a little clay mock-up of the nose and mouth area to help me get the shapes right when I'm carving them in the wood.
This piece is going to be a bit bulky for practical use. It'll be more for display purposes. The shape's coming along pretty good now. I think it's going to turn out after all. The painting process starts out with a couple of coats of gesso primer.
This turned out to be a real fun project for me. It gave me a lot of challenges, but I really enjoyed the process of it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.